Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you're well. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to do the decorative stitch for the Omani cap. Oops, why is this one? Okay, there you go. Decorative stitch for the Omani cap. I posted a picture tutorial uh, on my blog a long time ago and I've always wanted to do a video tutorial but never got the chance, so today is the day, alhamdulillah. Um, just to give you a bit of an idea for those wondering what this is, these, these, this is an Omani cap which is worn um, as part of the traditional attire in Oman for the men of course and um, it's actually in two parts and I'll explain to you in detail when I'm actually showing it to you because I'll be able to zoom and it should give you a clear picture. So I hope you will enjoy this tutorial and if you have any questions leave me uh, a comment with your question and I hope to be able to help you out and without further ado let's get on to the tutorial okay so this is the cap as it's finished the one I showed you earlier and just a close look at the stitches and the design now every cap has different designs so this one that is filled and ready to wear filled and stitched sorry that and ready to wear um, this is how it is when it's not filled as you can see it's quite you the designs are distinctive and because um, the process is I think you go you choose a design and this is on cotton material and of course the size the different sizes as you can see this is quite large I'm not sure what size this is so then you choose the design and the tailor or the place where they make the Armani caps fill them in um, so even it's quite rough it's not smooth and the places where it's not filled is initially where the stitches would go so this is the part that goes around the forehead and this is the top part that goes on the top and ideally this is how it would look like so where the once everything is stitched you take it back to the tailor and they would just stitch it all together all around for it to form a cap and for it to end up like this now for the stitches actually let's start with the thread the thread used here is DMC it says border machine is 100% cotton and there are many colors um, to use here's one I started earlier long long time ago which I never finished by the way I never finished any cap so I'm no expert I just know the techniques so this is the unfinished part of this one and yeah I have two unfinished ones because I initially started this one and thought I lost it so I went I got another one and then none of them are complete and now I'm looking for the needle and I can't find the needle So essentially what you need is your thread, your needle, and I've already threaded my needle with the color that I want. You take your starting point. Um, I'll take, I'll start from here. What we're essentially trying to do is to create a circle. Now my circles here are not perfect because I, like pra I lack practice. However, um, you, you'll understand um, what I'm trying to achieve so what you want to do is actually to create a circle but the technique is called Najm and Najm in Arabic means star but we're trying to create a circle so go figure so I've just started at a corner and you start from the bottom and then you hold that thread in order to secure it and now essentially we're going to go to the center and then go back to where we started again and pull and hold the thread with the left and go again in the center trying to pick up the same center to create a hole and then again you pull and then again you continue doing that same technique Yeah, because at the beginning when the thread is quite long and you just keep pulling
always remember to hold the thread taut and then you always start in the middle and pull and then you have to kind of turn the cap so you get a, like a full angle this might not turn out so good but at least you get the idea kind of did something wrong there but anyway we'll try and rectify it okay then you try you just keep doing it until you and you're slowly rotating the cap as you do it I don't know if they can see this it's a bit tricky to do it And this, as you see, takes a long time. Some women take approximately three months to finish a cap. So doing it handmade is a tedious job. And then they cost about 70, 70 reals, 70, 60 reals. Now I can see that you really can't see. Ma, how much do they cost these things? How filled it is. So that's why the one we saw was quite... Because uh, it was filled like mashaAllah. I really don't know if it's showing because I can see it's very small there. I think if somebody gets really wants to learn how to do this, they have to be very patient and have very good eyesight. I am. That's okay. And the thing you have to remember is how to that you when picking at the hole in the middle then when you actually go to the outer corner to create the circle that it has to be a line to to have a what do you call it not circumference rate not the rate the su circumference to be equal so you don't have one side bigger than the other because then it's just uneven and that's apparently how you test if the person making it is a good um, I don't know. Sewer is good at what she does. So by the articulate in a gym. I don't know how many minutes we're into this and I still haven't finished. Maybe because I'm out of practice in my my hands already hurting and as well I'm not really sure if you're getting all this on the video ideally it would be easier to film somebody doing it or if I was doing it and somebody was filming me but me doing everything is not so easy and there we have a classic the thread cut off because I pulled too hard so I just pick up where I left off and we start again there are no knots to this just again um, you hold the thread and then you start again so you initially start from the corner but you always go back to the center it's 
see it looks really small I'll see after I finish this one because if I come too close to the camera then I'll hit the camera Maybe I try a different angle then. No, it's uh, compared to the one I did this morning. This one's ugly. <laughs> Doesn't look symmetrical at all. So this is it. This one I've worked on and as you can see it's much neater here because I got better at it but because I stopped. But yeah. So this is how to do it and this is the full najum. Nus najum is the same technique you just stop halfway. And I hope this was helpful and yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful. If you do have any questions, leave me a comment with your questions and I hope I'll be able to answer them. Just a disclaimer, I do not plan on selling these caps. I just wanted to learn um, this part of, as it's part of my heritage and culture. And uh, as I'm, I love handmade, it was only natural that I learned how to do it. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in my next one, inshallah. Ma'asalaamu.